Office of Data Management. It's been said that what gets measured gets done, and that's probably true in most cases that if you focus on something that you get uh, more of it, um, uh, all things being equal. And so, for example, you know, that could lead to a lot of innovations or new ways of looking at things. I mean, what I did comes to mind before I get into the specific office of data management. There's so many. You know, Marianne Williamson says that, you know, she wants to create an office of peace, that, you know, uh, we have an office of war, basically, or uh, that focuses on war, and that we have to actively focus on the things that we want. And uh, I'm not going to take, obviously, a position on political ideas uh, of others, but um, on the podcast, but I, I do think that we have to focus on what we want, not just uh, focus on what we don't want. So the Office of Data Management would be uh, recognizing the data is basically like the new oil. I mean, people say water is the new oil, which is true, because skirmishes are breaking out all over about water, a lack of clean water, and I have a podcast about that. But uh, data is basically the new oil. So on both the government and the company and the uh, individual level, there's going to have to be uh, a, a reorganization around data and data management. Now, I have a podcast that talked about the individual level, how individuals are going to get uh, control of their own data and be able to monetize that. So you can, you can, uh, you can watch that. And I think companies are going to have to do the same thing, just like you have a C. A CEO and a CMO and a CTO and a COO. Uh, the CDO, uh, the chief data officer, may become one of the most important uh, roles in organization in terms of how data is um, uh, structured, data rights, data monetization. And I think on the government level, the Office of Data um, uh, Management is going to be critical because right now, we don't really have, like, when Facebook, when Mark Zuckerberg was questioned before Congress, it was clear that um, they didn't really know how to uh, question him effectively. A lot of the press uh, picked up on that and wrote articles about that, that, you know, Facebook was way ahead in their understanding of uh, these tech principles, including data principles, like when they were uh, questioned about the 2016 election, privacy issues, and other scandals that have happened. And that's because the government is not organized around these issues, um, and they're playing catch up. So there should be, you know, multiple issues like, you know, an office of uh, artificial intelligence, um, you know, that focuses on like the dangers of artificial intelligence, but also the, uh, 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 you know, the great capabilities of artificial intelligence. And there should be an office of data management that focuses on. Um, uh, Consumer rights, what are the consumer rights of data management? How should companies be regulated around data? And how could the government get a competitive advantage uh, while still respecting our values around data management? You know, what should happen with surveillance? Um, uh, what should happen with um, uh, encryption, uh, cryptocurrencies? Uh, the government is like way, way, way behind because they're not organized around these things.